63. All right, let me get a couple questions, and then I want to tell you about our how our program is going for the persons with disabilities. But, but the first thing is, uh, first question was, uh, what's the best way to use autoresponders? Well, first of all, there isn't any best way, but there is a lot of great ways you can use autoresponders to take care of customers and all kinds of stuff. So, so one of the things is what I call customer service, automated customer service. This means that when somebody buys something for you or ask a question or something, you can have an automated response. So it could be in the middle of the night and they can get a response from you. You can also use chatbots for this, which is a, a modern way to do things. But autoresponders, if, if you ask some of the people who have been around as long as me and ask them what are some of the most powerful things ever invented for online marketing, almost everybody would say the sequential autoresponder. Sequential means that it you can have follow-up messages in a campaign, where in the old days when the autoresponder was first invented, you could just do one message. But now you can do follow-up messages. So customer service is one. And that customer service Good customer service and fast customer service leads to more money and more sales. Now, next thing is automated upsells. Now, before I do an upsell with an autoresponder, I want to make sure people are getting at least three emails from me, especially if they're new, that help them, that give them tips, or do some way to take care of them so that they get used to getting emails from me that help them in some way. So that way, when I do send an email that just sells something, then they're, they're not like, oh, this guy's all this guy does is sell me, sell me, sell me. No, they're, they're saying, okay, well, that's part of the deal. And then I might send some more that just help them. See, so and I give a lot of free stuff away that, that helps them. So that's another way, automated upsell. So after maybe they purchase something and they get a bunch of emails that help them, then I say, hey, here's a coupon code. This is another, just a sales technique. It's automated because of the autoresponder. Here's a coupon code. Since you bought product A, you're not going to get product B at a discount. And I get automated sales coming in sometimes long after the original sale. And the more expensive the first product was, I usually go longer before I upsell them because I don't want them to feel like I'm nickel and diming them to death. See? So... So these are all little psychological things, but it's automated using autoresponders. Now, another thing you can do with autoresponders is e-courses, either free or paid. And you can have an e-course that, I think I have a whole episode on this. I don't know the episode number offhand. Larry will maybe put it in the show notes. But e-courses are delivered like once a day or once a week. I usually do the free e-courses once a day. To keep because the people are hot, so you want to get keep after them. And then, uh, if it's a paid e course, and then maybe they have homework in between each part of the course, then you could do once a week or whatever you know makes sense for you. But it's all delivered automatically, that's the whole thing. And then, on e courses, also the course and the tips or whatever you're giving could be in the actual email, or it could be a link to a page on your website, which is kind of a better way because you get a website visit, which looks good to Google, and they're on the website for a longer period of time, which looks good to Google and the, all the search engines because they're, the time on site adds up to your you know, search engine stuff. And they can see a lot of other things that you have there while they're at your site that they might want to buy. See, so... So uh, the, the modern way to do it is to not put the whole course in the email. It's to put the link to the page on your uh, site that has the, the part of the course, uh, part one, part two, part three, whatever. And don't, don't name the pages one, two, three, four, five, because people can just guess and find the next page automatically. Then there's a lot more to e-courses than this, but uh, that, that'll get you started. But anyway, autoresponders. There's no best way, whoever asks that question, it's just they're great and use them. Make sure you use them. I probably